one area that's really dear to me is reporting. To me, custom reporting is such a, such a big deal. Um, and I, I'm going to just switch over to QuickBooks Desktop real quick and talk about uh, the reporting features that, in, that, that are just much more powerful in QuickBooks Desktop. So I'll start by going into the customer center. And, um, and one of the, my favorite things to do is to right click here on this area for the customers and click on customize columns. And what I like to do is find out which information is really relevant to my client. So in this particular case, customer type and job status, which I basically grabbed from the left side here. So when I find you know job status or customer type, so for example, let me look for customer type, I grab it from the left side and I put it on the right side. Well, so what I like to do is give my client a dashboard, right, of, of all of all their jobs and where they stand. And job status is also a huge, huge thing. Job status is when we double click on any job and we click down here to where it says job info, we give it a status. That's what job status is. Now, to customize this even further, customization to me is a really big deal for my clients too. We can go to the edit menu, we can go to preferences, and then down here under jobs and estimates, we'll click on company preferences. I can actually give these different names. Now, unfortunately, I only have five, but I really like being able to customize it. So I have clients that manufacture in stages. So they'll do stage, they'll do stage one, stage two, right? That, that's how that's how they work. You know, stage three, stage four, or or let's say this is uh this is we'll call it uh, not started, and then we'll call this one complete. So I have clients that basically do have three stages of processing a job and then they complete it. So what's cool about that terminology is that now um, I can go to any job here and change the status. Now what? Now reports, right? So I'm going to go to the reports menu. I'm going to click on industry specific. I'll click on contractor report. And then I'll go ahead and click on job status. So when I click on job status, and this is not available in Pro, only Premier an accountant and enterprise, of course. So when I click on job status, I actually get a report view of all my jobs and their statuses. And what's really cool about this particular report, this report, it actually behaves different than most QuickBooks reports. If I double click on any of these, it takes me straight to the edit menu where I can actually change the status, right? Because that's logical, right? That I'm gonna change it. The other way I like to sort of massively update my jobs is to go into the list menu click on add edit multiple list entries. And one of the things that I do is I click up here where it says customize and I make sure that I add, for example, job status or, or customer type. And I'll talk about customer type in a second. So I'll <clears throat> add job status and customer type. And then from this screen, I can quickly update. Okay, so this one is complete and this one is on stage two and this one is on, this one is complete and so forth. So, so by doing this, I can click on save changes and then it'll automatically close and update my report to have the new job statuses. But where, where this could be really powerful is to do filters. So let me show you. Let me, for example, I'm gonna do a filter here and I'm gonna go to reports, custom reports, and I'm gonna click on summary. And this is a real powerful piece of reporting. On the rows, I'm gonna click on customer type. And I'll, I'm gonna give you some background in terms of how I use customer type in certain situations. So on rows, I'm gonna put customer type under columns, I'm gonna put quarter because I just kind of want to see quarter information. Then under filters, I'm gonna go ahead and only show sales. So I'm gonna go ahead and filter that and only show income. So I'm gonna click on all ordinary income. And then uh, here on display dates, I'm gonna put this fiscal year. So what's really neat about this, I can actually get, this is what I called my marketing effectiveness report, where I can actually see my sales based on customer type. And the way I use customer type for many of my clients, and I'm gonna show you kind of how I did that. So I went to um, to the customer menu, I'm gonna go to here, customers, and I click on every single customer, I double click on the customer, and then here under additional info, under customer type, I tell it where I got the client from. You know, did I get them from the internet? Was it a YouTube campaign? Was it a referral from a client? Was it yellow pages? So I use customer type as a way of creating what I call my income by referral source report. So I'm gonna go ahead and memorize this and call this income by referral source report, okay? And this basically gives me a good understanding of you know, how effective or how well my income, my, my marketing is working. So it looks like my YouTube campaign is working quite well. And by the way, that's true. I do tons of YouTube campaigns and get tons of leads from there. So it's actually pretty congruent with my own business. 
um, you know, tons of tons of business coming from you know YouTube and Google Ads and stuff like that. So this gives you a really good insight, strategically speaking, on you know what are the things that you should be doing marketing wise to improve the business. Now to take it one step further, you know, to use this both job status and customer type uh, uh, factors. I'm going to click on customize report. And go to filters, and then I'm gonna go down to job status. And let's say, for example, I'm only interested on jobs that have been closed. So for for the time being, I'm not really that interested on in seeing uh, jobs that that haven't been marked as closed in the job status. So it, it gives me an entirely different report, different information, right? I mean, um, so this is real the real powerful part of QuickBooks uh, reporting. And this is not advanced reporting. This is just the regular reporting features available in um, QuickBooks uh, Premier and Enterprise. And well, Pro as well, but the job status, I, I think the, the, the first report is not available in, in QuickBooks Pro.